Whoa, guys. <laughs> Is gonna ask me why I haven't worn my retainers. So. Is it like cake? No, it's not cake. <laughs> basically, I'm gonna become a baller. I don't know. I'm still just really off my game. We're, we're jumping, jumping, we're jumping, we're jumping, we're jumping, we're jumping, now we stop. Good. Happy morning. We know and love Eye Patch Friday, but we're trying something new today. I've had this glow cube for a while. I got it for Christmas and I've been too afraid to use it slash I just haven't worked in rubbing an ice cube on my face into my everyday morning routine. But maybe it's been my loss, so we're gonna try it. I think I know how to use it. Get those chiseled cheeks. Oh my gosh. Whoa, this is actually really calming. Oh my gosh, I feel awake. <laughs> it's a little trippy. I think I'm getting a brain freeze. I don't know how long you're supposed to use this. My head's feeling a little cold. I think it's working. Well, that was actually pretty cool. It definitely woke me up. Wow, I'll have to give it a go more often. <laughs> So I already wrapped it and then remembered I was vlogging. I'm so off of my game right now. Father's Day is this weekend. I did a little bit of arts and crafts for the bag. I've been teasing about wanting a hot pink basketball. And my dad is big into basketball, played basketball, and also is a mentor to a basketball team. So oh, I thought it'd be cool if I got him his own basketball because we don't have one. And then I also got myself a pink basketball so that we could play together. So basically, I'm gonna become a baller. Play basketball, I'm gonna become a pickleballer, a basketballer, and a golf baller this summer. <laughs> Hopefully he likes it. We're here again. <laughs> All we do is eat. Mm, that kind of blue. I have a salad. And it's National Bourbon Day, so I had to celebrate. Oh, it is. All right, guys. This might be interesting. My dad and I are about to go golf. I think we're probably maybe just hitting balls at the driving range, but I've been trying to get him to take me to like actually play a few holes. Ew! What the heck? Be right back. I have been kind of off of my vlogging game and I apologize. It's partly because I've been getting a lot more into creating content for reels. Taking my personal social media more seriously. So I've been trying to split my time a bunch of different ways. But I'm trying. The rest of this weekend is going to be really fun and special. We have Father's Day. My cousin is living in Japan with her husband who's in the Marines. And they had a baby last year. They're back for a few weeks. So we've been spending a lot of time with them. Just trying to take advantage of the time that they're home. Protect your skin, kids. I've got a double summer sports update in one. I went to the driving range for golf. It wasn't so promising, but I've got some progress that I've made. You might disagree. Secondly, I finally got him to play pickleball. It's pretty fun. That's where my potential lies, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty much like Roger Federer. Yeah, it's not pickleball, but... Literally oh, my least favorite thing in the whole world. It's choy. What's that? I don't know. Is it the horse? I want to put your camera away. Like no, it's not bacon. bacon. It's like spicy and sweet somehow. What do you think? Woo! Take a bite of that. It's like taffy. Take a bite. Up your top.
good happening morning. So as I said the other morning, I was about to go with my dad to go to the driving range, hit some balls. It was fun. Got a lot of work to do. But we brought our pickleball rackets because my dad told me they had a really nice pickleball court and my dad and I were just like hitting it back and forth. He's never played with us before so I was kind of like explaining it to him everything like that. The most random thing happened. The tennis pro came up and he was really friendly. He was talking to us. Turns out I indirectly know him through other people I know which was just like a super small world situation. And then my childhood orthodontist came over and played pickleball with my dad and I for like an hour and 15 minutes. And it was so much fun. So fun to like learn more about the rules and actually play the game, but also so fun and random. I was afraid he was going to ask me why I haven't worn my retainers. I'm definitely feeling it this morning. I'm a grandma. I told my dad I wanted to go golf and I thought it would be just something fun to spend some time with him for fun. Day. I've been wearing ponytails a lot more. So the other night at Michael's, I got this super cute yes, ribbon. Look how cute. Got a Dan in the wild. Man! I've played a I play one hole because dad didn't want me to slow everyone else down because they're very busy today, but I didn't do terrible. There is literal sweat dripping down my forehead. <laughs> but I consider it a really proud moment that I finally got my dad to play pickleball. We just played pickleball again for a little bit and I'm already this sweaty. Which just proves that it's a great workout and fun at the same time. But I will say, we were talking to some people at the golf course and they were like, I'm not touching pickleball, I'm afraid. Because apparently all of these older folks and older people that are playing are like overexerting themselves, going to ham, have like torn their ACLs, torn their Achilles heels, all this wild stuff. So now I'm a little scared, but in my personal opinion, I don't know how it's much different than volleyball, which I played like all growing up. So, try to come for me. Oh my I'll see what is that? It's a real life puppy, y'all see. Can yeah. I give the puppy a hug? Yeah. Can I give the puppy a hug and a kiss? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Look. Oh, the puppy likes you. She's oh. gonna play with her play <laughs>
time, no see. Happy Friday. It's so hot, but I'm braving the heat because sitting out here is my most favorite thing in the world. Having a good acai bowl. It's been my obsession recently. I better eat it fast or it'll melt. It'll be a pretty exciting weekend and I've been off of my vlog gig and going through life things and just trying to live in the moment and enjoy things. I'm back. I hope I'm saying that now we'll be the judge in two days. I'm excited. The end of an era. Getting rid of all of my remaining body mists. Sad. I love this one and this one. It's been discontinued. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Do we have the same shoes? Whoa! Pissing down we stop. We're gonna jump! We're jumping, we're jumping, we're jumping, 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 we're jumping, we're jumping, we're jumping, now we stop. We're gonna do one more clapping! We're clapping, we're clapping, we're clapping, we're clapping, we're clapping. Hello, I did a really, really bad job of vlogging. I don't know, I'm still just really off my game and just really wanting to spend time with family that's in town and such special moments. So we had our family cookout the other night that we hosted at our house. And then this morning, bright and early, I woke up to go hang out with my cousins a girls' day. We went to an art festival fair around where we live so that was so fun we got these really cute earrings and then there's one other pair that was super fun that i got and then i came home i took a nap because it has been so hot and i got so sweaty and tired so i took a nap and i woke up it's time for round two we're going to a concert we're seeing maroon five at ruoff which is the place where we have the summer lawn passes for but it was so hot and it's just my dad and I that are able to go tonight. So he upgraded our tickets to be under the pavilion. So that'll be really nice. I've never seen Maroon 5. They have a lot of really good music. Anything he plays I'm sure will be great. Heading to that, I'll try to do a little bit better at vlogging in the next few days. We're in need for a life update. Super excited and I'm having a, a meal of a scotcheroo and chips. I did have a proper lunch, but... <laughs>
which is absolutely insane. It's an exciting Friday. I have my like every two month hair appointment. To be honest, I still haven't completely decided what I'm gonna tell her. I'm currently in that phase where I'm like, I wanna do something drastic. I've always wanted to be blonde. I'm basically kind of at that point. So then I was like, I wanna be Sabrina Carpenter blonde since she's also naturally brunette. So it wouldn't be too far off. But the more I think about it, the more I'm like, maybe not that intense. But I have a few photos I'm gonna show her. This is one of them. So like mostly blonde, but still with some roots. This is one of them with like the money pieces. Just like still with some of those dark roots in, but. So who knows how this is gonna turn out. I'm excited. Hair refresh day is always an exciting day. So I'm gonna be on my way and I will see you when I'm finished. Woo. Whoa, guys. <laughs> I love it. I was a little nervous, but I was just like, I'm gonna go for it. Why not? Like it's the summer. It makes sense to be a lot lighter during the summer if at any time. But I really like it and I've always wanted to be a blonde. I was talking to my friends like a few months ago when I got my hair color the last time and they were like, you're looking really blonde. I was like, yeah, I've always wanted to be blonde. We'll see what I do next time. Someone was like, does that mean you have to bleach your eyebrows blonde too? I was like, I hope not. I think this is a look. I feel so fun. <laughs> Wow, probably can't even see like fully either because I'm kind of back here in the shadows. Yay, success! My newest Starbucks obsession, their energy drinks. Tasty. We're back again. <laughs> and dad already got a stain. wide awake at 142 because of Love Island and also my Starbucks energy drink that I drank at 8. <laughs> Hi Pixie! 
Was it a stormy morning? Are you scared? It started stormy at like 3 in the morning and it was scary. Eye patch, Saturday. <laughs> also, pardon the paint swatches on my wall. We're working on something exciting. It is Saturday. We're getting ready to have a lunch and wine day with the girls in our family, which will be super fun. Me and my banana. I'm also filming a reel, so I've got like two setups right now. I'm trying to get better at doing both because I was slacking at vlogging. I was like wired from that energy drink last night and I was like wide awake until 1.30 and I had to force myself to just lay there and I turned on my hatch, like brown noise to help me fall asleep. Also, it's my first day of styling this hair. I showered last night just because I don't love the like post hair appointment chemical -y smell and also to like shower and not mess up my routine. My hair is feeling rather dry today so I put some Moroccan oil in it and hopefully that helps her. Going pink today. I love this friend's palette. I still have been loving my Milk Hydro Grip Primer and concealer. Something new that I've been using is this Rare Beauty bronzing stick and I just have it in the shade Happy Soul. I've learned that a lot of times you need more than you think you do to make a difference at all, especially when you're blending in blush on top of it. Especially since I'm more tan and the concealer is a little light. I went to my hair appointment the other day and realized that I completely forgot to put powder on. I asked myself, I was like, why do I look so like hydrated and glowy today? And then I was like, oh, that's why. That won't be good in a few hours. Oh, and this is, you know what this is, where the good times happen. The best part of dinner. Yeah. Good morning, my latest obsession. Ah, I just burned my toast. Anyways, my latest obsession has been avocado toast, but not just any typical avocado toast. You put cream cheese first. Just adds a lot of flavor and also helps your toast from getting like wet and flimsy. We learned this way of doing it from my great aunt. But just recently I had the idea, one night I wasn't like extremely hungry for dinner, but I was like, I should probably eat something. So I made this. And ever since I did that, like a week ago, I have been addicted and can't stop. Anyways, last night we went to dinner, which was really nice. We went to a place called Copper Spoon in downtown Fort Wayne. And there was so much happening in Fort Wayne. It was so cool to see a Tin Caps game and just like live music and so many fun things. And then we came home and my dad and I worked some more on our record room, which I'll have to show you. I don't think I vlogged it. I made a fun reel about it, but it came together so great and I'm so happy with how it turned out. 
So fun, so legit. We have like an actual little listening room now. So that'll be really fun. And I don't know, I've just been like wired the last few days. I could not go to bed. I was awake again until like 1.45 in the morning before I fell asleep. But I ended up just like doing some voiceovers for some videos and watching Love Island because I forgot that my aunt had shared her Peacock login with me. I was so frustrated. I was like, I want to be watching this so bad, but no Peacock. And then it just hit me. I was like, my aunt totally shared her password with me. So now I'm addicted to that. And actually one of the guys that's on right now is someone who is friends with someone who got famous on TikTok from my hometown. And now they do stuff together. Cool to see that and follow along with what he's doing. So cream cheese, guacamole, and then everything about the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. But I'm about to pack this up because we're having a pool day at my grandma's. So that'll be fun and relaxing. One, pack one to go. I also just made the viral strawberry iced coffee. I don't know if it was necessarily viral on Instagram. I saw like one or two videos about it, but I really wanted to try it. So I tried it and I was surprised. I like kind of expected it to be super sweet, but it's like a really good balance. And then I, I just shot coffee on myself, but I'm a huge fruit flavored coffee person, so. That'll be tasty. Look at this goodness. Woo! A little burnt, but I like it crispy. 